Hello, everyone. My name is Hemant Prasad from Christian for Solutions. Uh, I'm here to demonstrate uh, Alfresco Digital Workspace or DG Works for uh, ADBP. Uh, the Alfresco Digital Workspace or DG Works is a web based application, supports uh, every major browser, including Safari, Google Chrome, uh, you know, uh, Edge, etc. Each user is presented with a dashboard with several widgets which users can personalize. They can see some quick uh, you know, data on the, onto the dashboard like recent documents or the favorites, tasks. The users can also personalize as per their language preference. So we support quite a number of uh, languages uh, for the user interface as well as for the inputs. Uh, so users can have quick access to the files, folders, tasks that they need to work on. Uh, they can see the group tasks. Users can access the files and folders uh, based on the access control that they have access to. Uh, the folder structure can be crafted based on the business needs and the files are access controlled. Depending upon the roles of users, the user will be able to take actions. Uh, they can see the properties. So there is a comprehensive metadata that uh, Alfresco supports and uh, DZ works lets users to basically browse through the metadata, the various versions of the documents on the fly in a very intuitive uh, manner. Users can restore, download, or uh, even select to compare, can make comments or even add attachments to the contracts like annexes, uh, et cetera. So let's go ahead and preview using the built-in previewer, uh, which is AEV Alfresco uh, Enterprise Viewer, which allows uh, users to annotate, add highlights, comments uh, for collaboration purpose. Since we are going to route this particular contract to uh, other users to make changes, uh, as well as to also get it uh, signed in a very digital uh, uh, manner instead of printing it or instead of emailing it. So the built-in preview supports various formats. It allows you to see the annotations, comments, etc., into the, the web browser itself without the need of downloading. It also supports uh, digital signatures. Uh, multi-page thumbnail preview to quickly jump to the, the page uh, that you might be looking for into, into the document. So we have made some uh, comments. Uh, we have made some highlights onto the documents. Uh, let's go ahead and check. This is an existing contract that we have put as a sample document and we can see that the Alfresco Digital Workspace or DGWorks is able to detect those digital signature and uh, lets users to verify if the uh, the cryptography certificate or the digital certificate was uh, authentic. So I'm going to go ahead and upload a file. Users can also create uh, contracts using existing pre-configured templates. You can configure uh, multiple templates. You can upload multiple files at the same time and upload uh, various type of documents, including contracts, agreements. And based on the type, uh, DZWorks will ask you to enter the metadata, some of which might be uh, mandatory, some of which might be optional. So once I'm able to enter all the mandatory data, the user will be able to upload the file and see the versions. Since this is uh, uh, the first version of the document, the version 1.0 will be shown. And you can see all the metadata onto the right side, uh, whether it's the contract supplier name, the date, the expiry date, uh, and so on and so forth. You can also see the version. So this is first copy, so this is version 1.0. Let's go ahead and preview the files. You don't need to have Microsoft Office installed into it or Acrobat installed into your PC. The built-in viewer allows you to view uh, the document within the browser without needing to download or without needing a Microsoft Office or Acrobat. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight uh, some of the text to which I want the, the reviewer to, uh, to basically update before it gets signed. I've made uh, the highlight. Uh, I'm going to save the annotation. So saving the annotation does not alter the document. It actually acts as a layer, and the user can navigate through the breadcrumbs on the top. So I'm now initiating a workflow process to uh, route this document, this contract, to two people. Uh, so I'm just giving it a title of what I want them to do. Uh, so this is my workflow title or subject matter title. Instead of sending an email, I'm just routing it uh, within within uh, Alfresco. So this is the file set type. I can add more files. I can preview a file at this stage if I want. I just want to make sure that you know that I'm sending the right uh, uh, document to uh, to the users. And I'm going to define my own path on who do I want to send it to and whether I want to send this document, this contract to people in a sequential manner 
or in a uh, uh, parallel model to uh, multiple users. So the system allows you to send it to multiple people at a time or send it to a few people in a sequential manner and then only when they take action, send it to the next people. So I have uh, defined the purpose for action by an action date. I'm putting some remarks uh, on why I'm sending this file to this particular user. And this becomes my first step of the process. Remember, I'm not sending it uh, via email and I'm defining it on how my contract is getting routed. So once the first user reviews it, I'm selecting the second user and then uh, the second user will be able to actually sign. So this time I'm selecting a uh, purpose for signature and I'm defining a due date, putting some comments uh, for the reference of the, of the user. So it becomes a two-step workflow process, which I'm able to actually quickly create on my own without needing, without needing a IT guy or a developer to define my workflow. So since I've selected a step uh, to uh, to let one of the user to sign it, so I'll be able to see who all users are allowed to sign, and I'll put a placeholder of where do I want this particular user to sign this particular contract or an agreement. There may be multiple users that I can actually put in uh, the signatures so for demo purpose. Just to make it quick, I've just selected one user. So now my workflow has been initiated. We have generated a case ID 27501 uh, with the documents attached and I can see the history that the first user Psychic started it and now Vizia Lakshmi or VZ in short uh, will be the next user who haven't started the process yet. So I'm logging out at Psychic and I'll be logging is an uh, as next user of VZ or Vizia Lakshmi, uh, who will who I have assigned to be a reviewer um, and editor uh, uh, of this document before it gets to the third user to basically sign it. So when the VZ user logs in on the dashboard itself, she is able to see that there is a task which is active on her name a few seconds ago, and she can jump onto this task right from the dashboard and can. Uh, uh, view that there is a workflow title. There are instructions, which I have to take action by 5th of April, assigned by Scikit, and I have some comments, please revise the contract. And I can see that there is a document attached, which is in the draft contracts folder uh, at the moment. I've not started the task yet. So I'll go ahead and check out uh, this document in the draft contracts folder. Let me preview it and I can see the I can see the highlight. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit this document. I can edit it online and using Microsoft Office or Google Docs, etc. This time around, I'm just editing it uh, using Microsoft Office installed in my PC. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, edit some of the line items which were highlighted. So I'm putting some dates. I'll save this document and then upload it back as a new version. So it becomes the final copy of the contract for me to be able to, uh, you know, route it or let it uh, route via uh, or to the, to the next user for the signature. So I'll go ahead and go to the versions tab. I'll put my comments. This is going to be version 1.1. I can also make it as a major version 2.0 and I'm gonna upload uh, the copy that I just uh, edited. So I can see the version 1.0 was like four minutes ago and version 1.0 is just a few seconds back uh, and I've revised the dates and I can see the version 1.0 listed here. So let's verify. Yes, the dates are there. So this, the, by default, the user will be able to see only the latest versions, but they can also go to the version uh, 1.0 uh, and preview, download, or uh, even restore. So I'm highlighting it for my next uh, you know, users uh, so that uh, my next user, Jivita, will be able to see that I have actually made amendments and put in the dates. So after making the changes, uh, I'll go ahead and approve my task and it goes out of my active inbox to the next user. So at the moment, it is to me, Vijay Lakshmi, but the moment I complete my task, I approve it it will disappear from my active inbox and it will go into my completed tasks, right? So it's actually gone down. So yeah, that's where it is. So I can see the history that now it has gone to the next user, which is Jivita. So I log out as uh, VZ or VZ Lakshmi and I will log in as the third user, which is Jivita. And she was assigned the role to sign this particular document. So I'll use the credentials of Jivita, which are coming from LDAP. 
and I will see on her dashboard, I have an active task just a few seconds ago to uh, review, revise, and sign. When this particular user checks out, you can see an additional icon of signature. So let's go ahead and verify before we sign this particular contract. All right, let's check the versions. Uh, we'll preview the document before we sign it. Yes, the dates are there. So that's, that's what was highlighted. So let me jump back to my task and uh, I'll go ahead and click on the signature icon which will open a preview and it will show me this is where I'm supposed to sign. So I'll go ahead, apply. I can draw a signature using the touchpad if I have or a touch screen if I have, or I can also upload an image if I want to use it. So I'll just draw it for now and I'll go ahead and sign it. So there is an electronic signature and there is also a digital certificate that we have actually attached to this file in order to lock it down. So this document cannot be amended any further. Let's go ahead and refresh my task. And we will see that the Word document has been converted into PDF because it's, it has now become the final version. No more editing is allowed. So it has actually become a read-only file, which is a PDF. And then we can see the signature uh, in, the, in, the, in the bottom. So that completes the cycle of the document. So I can see the, the signs, signing certificate, digital signing cryptography certificate in here with a date and timestamp. So I'll go ahead and jump back uh, to my task and I'll say, well, I've done my job. So let me just uh, go ahead and uh, approve and make sure I've signed the documents. I can also send it to anybody users if you are still practicing that there has to be a physical copy which needs to be printed. So I'm just assigning it to another user to say, go ahead and you know, file it because there is a compliance requirement. Uh, but I have completed my task and you can see the history of workflow that it has actually been completed by Jivita. And uh, you know, we can see the entire timeline of the process and the final version of the document in here. So we can also go ahead and search if you have a lot of documents, a lot of contracts, the global search allows users to find the documents easily. If I'm you know, searching for a generic word and I'm getting a lot of search results, I can always go ahead and narrow down based on certain metadata like contract expiry date. So in the month of April, there is no contract that is actually expiring. So let me check for the month of May. Well, I have one contract which is actually expiring. So I can narrow down my search based on uh, various criteria, various metadata that I had uh, just uh, you know uploaded. So very intuitive uh, way of finding the document without, without going through a lot of folders and a lot of files, et cetera. I can quickly and easily filter down. And from there, from the search result itself, I'm able to actually take actions as I want. So I have some more tasks. I can also, you know, sort of, uh, you know, turn it to a, you know, uh, uh, dark mode, et cetera, for my eyes, right? So, yeah, that's where, uh, so there are some additional features like, you know, creating a document using a template, checking out some of the recent files, favorites, files which have been currently edited or shared externally, or even if the files which I would have accidentally deleted, I can always restore it from my from my recycle bin. So these are some additional features we provide in DigiWorks.